I have a big problem. The van is dying on me. Remember how last year me and my buddy Lior got stuck on a mountain in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere because the van was uh, running dry on water and was completely heating up? Well, that's not the only problem. So here's what else is wrong with it. The windshield wipers don't work, so if it's raining, I won't be able to see where I'm going. The side mirror is all broken off and I had to uh, tape it. So you see how that mirror shakes? and that is kind of, I don't even know if it's legal. The water still leaks, so every couple of days I have to add more water, so that's kind of dangerous, especially for the long road ahead of me, going back to the prairies. The transmission is getting really bad and leaks transmission fluid. The battery's super old, so I'm having problems with it. And the lights are going all wonky, so they start turning on and off on their own will, and that's kind of risky because if uh, one of them stays on at night when I park it, it will definitely drain my batteries and I'll get stuck in the morning. This side door doesn't work. And uh, yeah, this van is just really old. It's got 300K on it almost. That's pretty old. And worst of all, there's this awful, horrible uh, metal grinding sound. Somewhere under the driver's seat. Uh, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds like it would be really expensive to fix. So yeah, I think it's time for a new van. So I started searching for a new van, and man was it ever painful. I had to look at so many different types of vans, and nothing felt right. After a long time of searching and not finding the right fit, I was quite frustrated. I also felt like I couldn't really trust anyone in Vancouver, which made the search even more difficult. Then, a friend who lives in a city called Victoria suggested that I come there to look for a van because it's a smaller city, cheaper and more trustworthy market. Since my family lives in Victoria, I figured I'd go stay with them and give that market a try. So I hopped on the ferry and went there. After looking at some more vans over there, I finally found something that felt right. It was clean inside and seemed like it was in good condition. But I had to take it for a test drive. So when were the brakes done last? Uh, brakes were done about six months ago and uh, they're at about 80% right now. Right, okay, and the tires, when were they uh, last uh, replaced? Do you guys have any of like the service record? Any oil leaks in the engine? Uh, nope, engine's been maintained, uh, been inspected regularly, um, there have been no uh, no reported issues, and I checked with the mechanic myself before bringing the van over here. Okay. Okay, great. Can I take it on the highway? <clears throat> uh, we're kind of far away from the highway right now. Um, okay, well, is it pretty okay on the highway though? Like, uh... Yes, 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 absolutely. I, I took, the, took the van over here on the highway, um, Getting over here, and uh, yeah, if there were any if there were any problems, I would uh, would definitely tell you. Okay. So after a lot of searching for many different types of vans, I present to you Van Man's new van. So now that I had my new van, I had to transfer all my equipment over to it and empty the old one. This included my aerator, a lawn care machine I'll explain more about in a future episode. I always use the engine of this heavy machine to propel it up the ramp and into the van, but the engine wouldn't start, so I had to physically push it up the ramp. Completely soaked, but I'm done. I mean, my friend Lior are in this uh, huge complex of all these old cars where they bring them to, you know, get fixed and crushed and all that. There's all these like cool kind of models, uh, old school uh, sort of vintage model vehicles. And uh, yeah, so we're basically just bringing my van here to get it crushed. Uh, I'm getting rid of it because I bought the new van. 
This was a really cool place filled with old skeletons of vehicles of all shapes and sizes, including these old tour buses from a well-known tour company in Vancouver. Apart from the main reason why we were there, we took the chance to explore the place and soak in the vibes of this car graveyard. So this is a little bit of an emotional sad day for me just because I love this van and uh, this is you know the van where I started vlogging with and had so many adventures and cool experiences with. Uh, I've had it for three years and I've actually slept in it for three summers so it's like two months each time so a total of like six months that I've actually lived in this van. Yeah but I mean it's just too it's too old it's not gonna make it another trip and I risk getting stuck in the middle of nowhere so I really have no choice but to let it go and uh, this next Next trip that's coming up in a couple of days is going to be with the new van that is uh, a lot safer. 